knowing that you have a virus that is etiologically linked to a particular type of cancer or a variety of different types of cancers gives one the opportunity for a targeted treatment. You can specifically target the, the virus. I've already mentioned one approach where you can use anti-herpes virus drugs. Normally they don't work if you don't know something about the biology of the virus in the tumor. The virus is latent, latent drug, um, latent infected cells are not sensitive to the anti-herpes virus drugs that are currently um, available. So you have to shift the, the program um, from latent to lytic to sensitize. So I think that's one approach. Another is using the immune system. So when you have a cell that's lightly infected, there are only a few viral gene products that are expressed, and that decreases the number of targets that can be recognized by the immune system. If you shift the virus into lytic replication, where you have 80 plus viral gene products expressed, then the chances of being recognized by the immune system are increased. One can take immune cells that recognize specific viral proteins and then expand them and then give them back to the patient. Um, that's similar to a vaccination type approach. Um, and then there was a recent report of an extract from licorice that can actually interfere with the expression of some of the viral gene products expressed during latency that are viral gene products important for actually maintaining the episome. So if you get rid of the episome, then you're getting rid of something that is helping that tumor cell survive. And so there are a lot of potential ways where one can exploit the presence of a virus for developing targeted treatment, either based on the biology of the virus or based on the immune system's ability to recognize foreign proteins.